Number 15, this is 1937, the Washington Quarter in mid-state 67 plus. An impressively satiny Denver meat example with a faint coasting of golden and sky blue hues across both sides. According to NGC, despite the recession of 1937-38, quarter dollar production actually rose during 1937, a reflection of how few coins had been struck there in the first years of the decade. 1937D quarters are readily available in grades up to through MS66, but, but the population drops off drastically above that level. Typical Denver Mint coins from this period. And lasting into the 1950s, the D Mint quarters are the most consistently well struck of the three mints output. This MS68 Plus gem was sold for $2,820. Number 14, here is 1951 Lincoln Sentinel MS67 red condition. George's rose red surfaces with smooth, fully frosted texture. A lovely and inviting example with exceptional surface quality. This superb gem ended up selling for $4,715. Number 13, 1945 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS68 condition with full steps. Outstanding target toning, the obverse with sandy apricot peripheral color that gives way to iridescent salmon pink and lemon yellow towards the center. The latter two colors dominate on the reverse, but they are joined by wisps of powder blue and reddish apricot around the periphery. Silky smooth in appearance with intense mint luster to fully impressed features. It was sold for $3,840. Number 12. This is 1964 Jefferson Nickel in MS66 condition with full steps. Boldly lustrous and fully brilliant with exceptional eye appeal, a difficult day to locate with sharp design elements. TCGS reported overall 38 specimens is as great with only 6 numerically finer. This elusive specimen was sold for $3525. Number 11, 1961 Lincoln Sentin and PR69 Deep Cameo Condition, as struck with glowing medium orange mint color to fully impressed, sharply cameoed surfaces, this dazzling ultra gem is a surprise condition rarity, from a mintage of 3,028,244 pieces, it was sold for $6,600. Number 10, moving on with this 2001 P Sacagawea dollar struck on a nickel planchette, graded in mean state 61 by NGC. The strike is nearly flush with upper right obverse and lower right reverse borders. The difference in size between the dollar dies and nickel planchette has resulted in the loss of only the top half of the letters in the words United States off on the reverse and a few minor details along the lower left obverse border. All features that are present are fully impressed and sharp, the surface is bright with satiny mint brilliance. A thin shallow over scuff over and behind Sakajevi's head is the only impediment to a higher mint state grade. It was sold for $10,200. Number 9. This is 1943 Lincoln Sand struck on a silver dime planchet. Popular wrong planchet error. Rated in mean state 65 by NGC. Fully brilliant and sharply struck on all but extreme edge of the coin where the smaller dime planchet was stretched nearly to the width of Lincoln sent by force of the dice. Blazing white and lustrous with no signs of toning, the strike is so sharp, even the VDB on the Lincoln's shoulder is clear. A feature often lacking on normal 1943 cents on steel planchets. Of course, all 1943 mint errors have a sort of magical appeal because of the fame of the 1943 cents struck on a regular copper planchets, of which only modest number exist. Finding any such planchet error like this cent on the dime from 1943 is a great fortune for the student of 20th century errors, but in the gem grade this is a truly connoisseur's prize worth of the finest mint error collection. This true rarity was sold for $10,575. Number 10, 
Number 8. This is 1977. The Washington Quarter struck on a silver clad planchet. Whereas 1977. The Washington Quarter is a copper nickel clad issue. This piece was erroneously struck on a silver clad, aka 40% silver planchet, used for some of the San Francisco Mint's bicentennial issues of 1976. The discovery piece for this rare error was reported by Bernie Steinbock prior to 1981. Since then, very few others have come to light. A pleasing and very rare mint state example. Both sides exhibit pale silver tinting to sharply struck, softly lustrous surfaces. Smooth and inviting in hand, it ended up selling for $12,000. Number 7. Here is 1950D Franklin Half Dollar in MS67 condition with full bell lines. According to Heritage, the 1950D Franklin Half Dollar is a well made issue, with full bell lines coins being plentiful in grades as fine as MS66. However, the Super Gem example is major rarity. This piece displays vibrant, frosty mint luster rolling across sharply defined motifs and pristine surfaces. Deep amber russet, olive green, and golden toning encompasses each side. I appeal is outstanding. Number 6. This is 1965 Roosevelt dime struck on a silver dime planchet. Rare transitional wrong planchet error, graded in mint state 62 by PCGS. Bright silver with a trace of toning on the lower rivers and lustrous throughout, while seemingly innocuous, these has all the usual appearance of the typical silver Roosevelt dime, but the date of 1965 is when the clad sandwich metal coinage began. There are few of these known of metal old planchet strikings, but very few, especially in mint state, as these would easily have slipped into circulation unnoticed as silver coins dominated the coins in circulation for a few years after the clad coins were launched in 1965. Similar in error to the famed 1943 copper cents, where a handful of leftover planchets were struck in a hopper and when coinage began as a new year slipped into production unnoticed. One of the great mint errors of 1960s, an important and rare coin for the specialist. It was sold for $16,450. Number 5. Here is 1920D Lincoln Cent in MS66 red condition. Boldly lustrous, bright mint orange surfaces exhibit lively cartwheel activity and exceptional eye appeal. The strike is sharper than typical for the issue, with the devices displaying a bold rendition of Brenner's famous scent. According to Stax Power, though more than 49 million examples of the date were produced, true gems of the date. MS65 or higher, are not an easy find in today's numismatic marketplace. This exceptional uncirculated gem penny was sold for $20,562.50. Number 4. Moving on with his 1969 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS65 condition with full steps. While the earliest days of U.S. Mint boasts the greatest density of true rarities, even the modern era of U.S. numismatics has its fair share of exciting treasures to town, collectors' adventures enough to cherry-pick, armed with only loop and afternoons worth of ambition. Among these underrated scarcities is, is a full step 1969 D. Jefferson nickel. Though mintage figures will confirm that no Jefferson nickel is anywhere approaching rare in an absolute sense, available populations are at times dwindling down to single digits when preservation and strike are taken into consideration. The full step 1969 D. Jefferson nickel was called the Golden Fleece by Dave Bowers, with Scott Schechter suggesting in December 2012 Coin World article that the owner of such coin will be the king of Jefferson nickel collectors. This rare specimen was sold for $33,600.
Number 3. This is 1922 no Lincoln with strong reverse, graded as MS64 red and brown by PCGS, an outstanding choice and circulated survivor of the popular and conditionally challenging 1922 no descent. The verse is typically soft in strike, although all major design elements are fully appreciable in the absence of wear. Sharply defined throughout the reverse, with ample pinkish row luster on both sides, Minimally toned, this premium quality example is more red than brown and would serve as a highlight in the finest Lincoln scent or variety collection. It ended up selling for $63,000. Number 2. This is 1932 D. Washington Quartin in MS65 Plus condition with CAC approval. Below is satin luster greets the viewer from both sides of this smooth, highly attractive silver tinged gem. Impressive technical quality and eye appeal for this key date, and conditionally challenging issue from the first year of the Washington Quarter series. Though the 1932D's mintage of 436,800 pieces is nearly 30,000 more than its San Francisco mint counterpart. At grades of EF40 or finer, the 1932D becomes a key date of the series. This highly sought-after gem was sold for $41,125. Number 1. And the most valuable lot of this episode, 1943D Lincoln sent in MS64 brown condition, famous wrong planchet error. The Second World War was at its height in 1943, and copper was an essential commodity in the wartime economy. It was used by defense contractors in the manufacture of everything from shell casings to comma wire. To conserve this strategic metal for the war effort, the Treasury Department decided to use zinc-coated steel planchets instead of usual bronze coin blanks to produce all Lincoln cents that year. Apparently, a few bronze planchets remained stuck in the tot beans mint personnel used to feed the coin prices at the end of the cent production in 1942. These planchets went unnoticed when the beans were filled with zinc-coated steel planchets at the beginning of the production in 1943. They became dislodged and were fed into the coin presses along with the steel blanks, resulting in a rare wrong planchet error treasures we know about today. This numismatic pinnacle in Mean State 64 ended up selling for $840,000. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and hit that like button before you move on with another video. Have a good one.